Got wheels, huh? Oh, what? What? Damn, son! Buddy over here on the lift. Check it out. He got the clear lights. I Man, that was mint. Clean little cutlass with the bubble clip. All right, guys. We ended up not finding the correct parts for the uh, for the uh, air shocks in the back. So he's just gonna roll it like that for now. He's gonna keep looking maybe for some OEM replacement shocks. But the only thing left that I was gonna help him out with was to drive it over there to the paint shop and get a quote on the uh, paint. I'm actually free right now and it's not raining. So I said, man, let me go right now. Hopefully he's there. Uh, and we'll get a, a price quote for David so he can paint this bad boy. After that, it should be ready to go home. Uh, it was nice having her here while it lasted. But uh, yeah, let's make that trip over there to uh, Jan's. We got a hood classic here, a couple cars in front. Maybe we'll see him turn. There he goes. 9596 Impala, baby. I love those. Yeah. Right here, probably on a like 20 minute drive. Uh man, hey the Cadillac that good, good. It does need the rear shocks and the front shocks. Like you good. That's that got that little bit of shake. I don't think it's I just think it's because the shocks. Whenever I, I, I was looking at the rolling footage, you see that the wheels bouncing up and down. And they're balanced. They balance pretty good, actually. But uh, I hate driving people's other people's cars because stuff messes up. And check what messed up, man. Y'all see that latch? Yep, that just broke on me right now. Everything was fine. This one's already a replacement latch. And you see it was already kind of janky. And then, boom, it popped up on me. So I reached over and tried to tighten it back up and boom, it broke. It's got that pop metal. Damn, man. That sucks. <laughs> These two and the two C10s. It's fucking cold, fucking David. My hands are freezing, dog. You're gonna have a heart attack with the price, dog. <laughs> nah, he did, he all right with it. He a good price. I'm gonna talk to David. He most likely gonna say yes. The only bad thing is he got the waiting list. So going back to the house, coming back in April, he probably gonna say yes. But check it out. Look what he got over here. 72, huh? Ooh, Impala, just like Pat, Fat Pats. Watch out. And if he got the wheel, the wheel, he he got wheels, huh? Oh, what what? Damn, son. What is that way? Uh, LT? Yeah, LT Damn, they ain't playing with this one. Fuck, make me feel shitty already, boy. He was supposed to pop the cherry on my drop, but my ass took too long. So he gonna paint his first, this is the first full donk, right? Yeah, first one. So this one's gonna be his first full donk. That's cool, he gets some practice in, that way the 75 come out better, huh? <laughs> what, uh, what color he going? Uh, this one's gonna be like a sky blue. Ooh, like that silver blue? Yeah, yeah, just like that. Badass. I love these Impalas. Man, in eighth, I ain't gonna lie to you, I like them seats. If they were yeah, fresh. Yeah, the floral patterns. Oh, this is a solid ass car. Look yeah. at the doors. You bought it from, uh, I think it's like Corpus Christi. Well, Corpus Christi's by that salt. Oh, they did some float. Oh, no, that's Dynamite, huh? Yeah. Hey, they got more They barely got some on the fences. Oh, it's electric too. Damn, he got the digital dash. Is that AC? Yep. Boy, he's shitting on me, guys. Let me go home and cry. I'll be happy just with my shit running. Ooh, I like that. Damn, the door shut pretty good too. Nah, that hole looks solid, fool. Yeah, it's gonna have some right there. A little bit. Body screen straight. Ooh. All right, we'll be back to see the progress on this hoe. Like, you just gonna, uh, I told him everything, like, uh, take the trim off, they have jams. Uh, man, see, they taking my spots. 
Man, I need to get my ass going on the uh, 75. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, if it don't rain, we're gonna try to aim to get the exhaust. But anyways, uh, I think the price he quoted David wasn't too bad, honestly. Yeah, I think, like I said, I, I, the price he gave him wasn't too bad. He said, yeah, I talked to David. He said, yeah, man, go ahead and leave it. But nah, homeboy got a waiting list. He got a few uh, cars, uh, well, more trucks, actually, than anything in front. So he said April. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're going to take this out. David said he's going to try to get this car before the weekend. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll be seeing it here in the future. Maybe helping out with a few other things. But, hey, it was good to uh, have her while she was here. There she go. She gone. Ooh, it's cold out here. Ah, guys, this dang weather. It's Saturday morning. Uh, I had got with Albert over there at Fine Line. I was supposed to drive the box over there uh, right now here at 8 in the morning to get all the cylinders changed out. Uh, we definitely need to do that. But I'm definitely not wanting to drive the box in the rain plus i need to take the fifth wheel off because we need to fix it i don't want to lose it and uh we need to take that off you know what let's go ahead and try to take that off right now whether we take it to fine line or not let's go and get it ready to take maybe it'll clear up well i definitely last night i left the saw saw there definitely don't want to work in the rain well the reason i got the saw saw there because one of my bolts is uh uh like the nut strip that I don't even tighten or loosen. So we're going to have to cut one of the bolts and take it off and also fix the latch. Uh, that's why I threw that salsa on there. Hey, I'm glad it didn't get that wet. It barely started raining. Let me pull this thing up. Oh yeah, we got that torch and we're going to put that fuego on them. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Two different brands, but the, uh, they both on fire. Let's see how, how good this fuego torch worked on this boat. On this grade eight boat. <laughs> Boy, that fuego chopped through that hole. That shit was actually kind of quick. All right, we popped it off. That way we could fix that latch and it's a little bent. We need to straighten it up out. Maybe we might even get it recovered this time. I don't know yet, but before I do any more damage, I really should have uh, handled it earlier because that shit being loose made us a little damage on the bumper. The rubber, didn't get fucked up but we got two little uh indentions you know from the kick going up and down that little corner piece rubbing right there everywhere else it looks good obviously that's dirty I ain't cleaned it in forever and see the way i installed it is it's just these two little holes you can't even notice uh that it doesn't have a kit from far away Except for these two little things, we could go back to factory pretty much. But it is, it's alright, it is what it is. My little street car. Alright. Now the only thing is, y'all can see my trunk lot. Uh, the little gold thing done chipped away from all that hopping. It don't look bad, but I like it with the gold little insert. We I have to, uh, I think I got another one. Not as clean as that one, but it still has the gold insert. I'm going to have to look for it. Waiting for it to clear up and it looks like it's raining again. It has stopped for like an hour. <laughs> All right, we on the road. City weather, but I want to get this done, so I'm gonna just go slow. That looks like rain up ahead. Maybe this was a bad idea. Guys, that was not a fun ride. <laughs> I mean, it was a little fun, I guess. <laughs> Man, driving in the rain ain't no window, dog. Uh, but luckily, we're already out on this side of town. We're like a few minutes away. Uh, let me pay attention to this road, guys. I don't just U-turn it, but I pulled up the fine line. Woo, we made it. <laughs> I probably should have waited, guys. Is, nah, I shouldn't have rode in this weather. But hey, that's one more test drive on the car again, man. Them fumes, I gotta do something about them fumes. I think I got a mad exhaust leak and I gotta put some insulation on the floor cause uh, that shit is, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm high off them fumes like crazy. All 
All right, I was having trouble with this window. Let me try to raise this window up because it don't look like it's gonna start raining. Yeah, I got these wires just got loose. That was it. I got the I got the window up. Hell yeah. All right, we made it over here to Fine Line. He gonna start checking out the box. Uh, shit, we barely made it over here. Check it out, he got a little cutty over here on the lift. Check it out, he got the clear lights. I used to have a cutlass, and I remember on Lay Low, someone did that, and I was like, damn, that's throwed. We all started in the G-Body. This is a clean-ass cutlass. He did a little, look like he got a three-pump setup, four batteries. I guess just lay and play, maybe, you know? Oh, look, see, but he got his little speaker in there. I don't know how 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 that bang, but if that bang shit, we throw something like that in the box. Man, this is clean. Look, he got the top on it and everything. The uh the Broham cutlass, not the Braum. <laughs> I think those are hold on. I think these are Zeniths. Yeah, it says USA Zenith, whatever. I don't know. There's a big controversy. Some of the newer ones, they say they're fake Zeniths. I don't know. But they clean looking with that gold ring. I like that little detail. Man, he got all the emblems. I like that shit. You don't never see that little Oldsmobile emblem on the side. Oh, he got the brown pillows in here. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Clean. Oh, yeah. Boy got the switch box too. Oh, see, and it's non euro. Everybody euros them now. Very few people keep the OG fronts. Oh, he did a little different. He got the little windshields or whatever. Not a windshield. I don't know what you call them. The little chrome deals. Yeah, they're most tight. Watch out with the dice, son. We got a candy red 6.4 out here. Boy, SS on them. Hey, you know, you can't go wrong with this. is like a traditional. Whenever you think of a low rider, you obviously think of a 6.4. Whenever you think of candy, you'll think of candy red. So it's like, you know. This is probably what a lot of people think is a lowrider, like to the common world. Ooh, SS with the bucket seats, watch out. Black with the red, I've liked that. My Buick LeSabre was red with black guts. I like that. I, I didn't have candy red. This looks like apple. I had brandy wine. But yeah, that's an iconic 6-4. Candy red. Probably most, most people's images of when someone says a lowrider. Man, check out this mint condition Cuddy. They got next door. He, you said how many miles? Woo! It's locked, but we're gonna just check it out from the outside. Damn, that hoe does look brand new. All right. It's got a weird hue to that cut to the color, but man, that hoe is nice. Man, that hoe is mint. They need to put that motherfucker inside, boy. Woo. That's fucked up. I got fine line working in the rain, dog. I be gonna be like, God damn, dog. I ain't gonna work for you no more, dog. You slaving me in the rain. Shit, we almost lost that windshield trim coming over here. I might pop it off before we leave. It's gonna look ugly, but I'd rather not lose it. Knocked out the back, he already getting on the front. Ooh, they got a fine line, another ride. Clean little cutlass with the bubble clip. I like this one. Boy got the center gold. Ooh, yes, he got the center console with the shifter. I like that. I like those guts right there for sure with the bucket seats. Watch out.
He buttoning it up. See, I won't clean them arms, but I don't think I'll go back with not having chrome arms. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit sucks, dog. Once you do it, it's like, fuck. Warming her up. About to get out of here. Got my cylinders hooked up. Finna leave that cutty. It's a virgin. He gonna chop it. I don't know if it's gonna continue to rain, but I'm gonna go get some rain -X. Hopefully it don't. Damn, we already got a problem. Y'all see my back deck bulging right there? Ah, oh, hell, it's gonna fuck it up. Uh, too tall since we put regular cylinders. It might have been a little bit too tall. Damn it. Hopefully, it don't mess up my deck. Make it home and I try to make some clearance or something. Man, this bitch is filthy from driving this hole in the rain. And then now my bumper flip filler flopping. I guess I must have lost some boats right there. Ah, damn. Can't win for losing, but we got new cylinders. So we should be able to ride good all the way home. Hopefully the rain don't catch us too crazy. Damn, I don't have to clean this dirty bag. I wanted to take a look at the earliest point crowd on the story says baby Mario Luigi and Peach are kidnapped by Kamek Motor and the transmission been actually uh, riding pretty good. I got exhaust leak like a motherfucker man. That shit ain't no good uh, And it's running rich My eyes are burning. It ain't down. I need to get that solved ASAP really uh, That shit that's actually the next thing I need to do period uh, I'm halfway home. I exited the bellway. I want to stop and just check everything my trim is falling off. I was over here holding it when I was trying. I was hauling ass. I need. I got, actually got the clips for that trim. I need to put it on before I lose it. But uh, let me pull into this gas station. Give the car a quick check. Goddamn trip so long. I had to give me some Snickers. My girl already got me some food waiting for me. <laughs> Fat ass. Nah, I just. Uh, I wanted a whew, kind of breathe some fresh air, some gas station fresh air. <laughs> nah, them fumes ain't no joke. I gotta take care of that for sure. I was looking at the car. I think I'ma uh, leave the fifth wheel off for a little bit. Uh, it's gonna stay on here, but I wanna fix it and uh, rewrap it. But I'ma leave it off for a little bit. But that means I'ma take the grill back off too. Uh, if I decide to, if the weather's not crazy, I'ma drive it tomorrow. I'ma leave the grill for tomorrow. But Monday, I'ma. I'm gonna take the grill off, put it away so the chrome won't get nasty. That way we'll put it back when, you know, we got the fifth in the grill. 64 Chevy in my yard, a white drop top, a paint job is on! <laughs> Triple gold double A Satan's is the best! 16 switches like Dre! That's what everybody plays! Oh my motherfucking plates! Don't never come back. Uh, Gulfway just passed Troy's. I'm living by myself. I'm finna call up my boys. Hit the corner one more time to see that booty from behind. Hit the switch and made it jump. And the kick is so it bump. Hey, I be caring about the copyright. I'm gonna let that play, cause that's one of the, that's one of the jams that got me loving UGK and loving the car shit, boy. I didn't even know who UGK was, but my brother was heavy into the Lowriders, and that song was playing heavy, bro. I remember that shit blasting out the fucking Regal six a uh, uh, four pack he had. You know, he really, my brother really jammed to that to that uh uh Hispanic music, the Mexican, the Spanish music a lot, like the Brindis. <laughs> well, anyways, but I do remember that was one of the few songs uh, he did jam. Like he he jammed screwing all that, but it wasn't heavy. 
Uh, I do remember though that from back side to side blaring out them speakers. And uh, I love that song. That along with uh, sipping on some scissor. I didn't even know who UGK was back then, but I knew word for word them lyrics because he talked about cars and shit, you know. Uh, but yeah, that shit was tight, dog. You know, that's one of the reasons uh, I got a car because I love the music and I love what they talk about. Like in this song, if y'all know it, you know, where Bumby's like, with one of them hoes in the air, you know, sitting on three Daytons. I've always wanted to hit three wheel just because of that line and shit. But that shit was tight. You know, hey, there's always, you know, reasons why we do this shit. So, hey, that's good little memory. You know what I'm saying? That jam, I love that jam. As a matter of fact, let's keep it rolling. I know that all of the things that me and Bun went through didn't understand what we was talking about down here. And when people Ooh, we made it. We made it back to the house. All right, with that being said, guys, hey, we made it back. The, the car felt good, obviously, except the exhaust. Uh, I didn't look for exhaust leak and also patch up the floorboard. I'm sure we got holes in there. We ain't got no, probably put some dynamite or something. Uh, that's actually what we got to do uh, Man, the weather doesn't look too good, but tomorrow uh, Man if it clears up we might actually drive the caprice for, I mean Test drive it. We got the new cylinders in there. It felt good uh, But we're gonna end this video here. Hey, I don't know where the hell we seen all these damn cutlasses coming from But this video was full of cutlasses for my g-body lovers uh, We got to see fine line uh, at work <laughs> I feel bad I made him work in the rain. I didn't make him, he did it. I, I would've waited. But uh, uh, once again, appreciate y'all watching. Catch me on the next one.